Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD for short, may sound like a long term, but it's pretty easy to understand. Chronic means lifelong, obstructive implies obstruction of the airways, and pulmonary means lungs. So COPD is the disease where airflow is blocked from entering your lungs and it's hard to get enough air into your bloodstream. If you're watching this video, you may have heard of COPD before, but that's not the case with most of the Canadian population. Not many people know what COPD is, even though it has a huge impact on human health around the world. In Canada, more than 4% of the population has been diagnosed with COPD. In the world, it's the fifth leading cause of death. Although the first and second are heart disease and cancer, the deaths from heart disease and cancer are dropping every single year. This is not the case for COPD, where the number of individuals affected by COPD is still rising to past 120,000 deaths per year. In fact, the World Health Organization estimates that by 2020, it will be the third leading cause of death around the world. Because COPD is chronic, those affected need to visit the doctor regularly, require frequent hospitalization, and need chronic therapy, such as oxygen support and medication. Managing COPD costs the Canadian healthcare system a large portion of resources. So, COPD is a big deal. But why is it so common? It's because most of us are exposed to the causes of COPD every day. Some are preventable and some not so much. The most common and preventable cause of COPD is tobacco smoke. Approximately 80% of cases are attributed to tobacco smoking, though smoking cigars and cannabis have been found to be equally damaging for equivalent quantities consumed. Less preventable causes are either genetic or environmental. When we breathe, we don't just breathe air. We breathe in small pieces of particulate matter suspended in the air too. When we are outside, we breathe in environmental pollutants and volatile organic compounds from industrial processes. Inside, poor ventilation from the kitchen can expose us to gases released from burning biomass. Some people work in industries where there are noxious fumes in the air and don't have proper protective equipment. All of these factors can contribute to increasing someone's risk of getting COPD. It's been clearly established that breathing in irritating particles in the air for extended periods of time is the cause of COPD. Although there isn't any established specific mechanism on how this occurs, there is a common general pathway. When the lungs breathe in these particles, the body recognizes them as foreign molecules or invaders and wants to get rid of them. Your body will fire up a immune response to send white blood cells to destroy them. During this process, the white blood cells will launch an inflammation response. As lung tissue gets inflamed, airways narrow, and the passageways for air become increasingly blocked. The chronic inflammation also leads to the eventual destruction of lung tissue. As lung tissue is destroyed, it becomes harder for oxygen to come into the bloodstream, and also harder for carbon dioxide to leave the bloodstream. Chronic inflammation in COPD is called chronic bronchitis, and the destruction of lung tissue is called emphysema. The combination of these two make it increasingly difficult to breathe, makes the individual cough chronically, and produce a lot of sputum. These symptoms will slowly progress, resulting in largely irreversible airflow limitation. Eventually, the persistent shortness of breath will impede daily functioning and drive the individual to seek help. COPD can be a very severe disease that is largely irreversible. However, it's mostly preventable if you try and protect your lungs from inhaling harmful particles. Most COPD cases are caused by tobacco smoke. So if you smoke, the first step is to quit smoking. Research indicates that stopping smoking leads to decreased likelihood of developing COPD, reduction of symptoms, and reducing frequency of exacerbations. If exposure to secondary smoke is a concern, you can try to ensure proper ventilation inside your home, and if not possible, containing smoke inside a separate confined space could help. If you work in an environment where you are in danger of breathing in noxious fumes, make sure to follow the workplace safety measures and wear appropriate personal protective equipment. If you feel that the environment is unsafe or that you are at risk of being exposed to inhaled chemicals, speak to a supervisor and contact your safety board. If pollution in your area is an issue, you can limit exposure to the outdoors on days where the air quality is especially bad.